In this third lesson, we'll cover some of the limitations of Catalina Voice Control System. First, we cover some of the applications and browsers that don't work with it. Let's take a look at PowerPoint. When I open up a new presentation here and click on Add a Subtitle and I talk, no typing is occurring. The same thing happens when I go to Excel. If I click on the formula line here or in any of the boxes where I should normally be able to type. I cannot type. If I click on the title of the sheet and say this is sheet one, you see there's no typing. So the only thing that I know to tell you about that is that you can go to Microsoft Word here and click 1,253,475. Select all. Cut that. Open Microsoft Excel, paste that, go to sleep. So I was able to cut and paste, but I actually had to use the keystrokes. So this may not work for some people. And the same thing is true over here if I paste, wake up, paste that. And so you do see that it did work in PowerPoint. But that's not really a useful solution. The next thing we're going to cover is software that doesn't work for you. And what you're going to find is that if you're going to do any applications on the internet, you want to use Safari. You don't want to use Chrome and you don't want to use Firefox because they're not equipped to take the new voice control system built into the Mac. So if I go to Google here and then go to my Gmail account, go to sleep, and click compose, and here's a message. And so I can type in the address, wake up. This is a test, tab key. And this is the body of the message, period, show numbers, 91, go to sleep. In order to use the compose button and the send button, I have to use the show numbers. It doesn't work with the show grid. And so I was able to use Gmail, I was able to use Facebook, I was able to do Outlook, which is a Microsoft product. I was able to use Gmail, which is a Google product. But I was not able to use Chrome browser at all. It just does not sync up with the voice activation system. What we're going to talk about now is capitalization of letters. You'll see that I've kind of created some workarounds for the problems that I found. Wake up. The CIA and the Federal Bureau of Investigation. Go to sleep. Notice that the word investigation did not get capitalized like we expected to. So the way I would handle that is I would have to delete the words of investigation. Wake up. Select of investigation. Delete that. Select investigation, delete that, of, period, investigation, go to sleep. Now what I've done is I put a period in because I know that anything that follows a period is going to give me a capital letter and now I have to go back and delete the period. Wake up, move left two words, move right three characters. Select previous character. Delete that. Move to end of line. Go to sleep. So that's the quick way I know how to add a capitalized word to a sentence where you had a lowercase letter. And now we're going to move on to how to deal with adding vocabulary. If you want to create new vocabulary, let me show you how to do that. 
So what you're going to do is you're going to come down here to System Preferences. Wake up. Show grid. 42. 19. And I'm going to go to Vocabulary. So what this is for is for you to add vocabulary that is either something that the system doesn't already know or words that it doesn't have in it already in the system. And so what I discovered was it doesn't have words related to the new Disney Plus channel and the Mandalorian show. So if I click on vocabulary and click plus, Mandalorian, click save, click another plus, Disney Plus. Darth Sidious. It obviously doesn't know that one. Darth Sidious. So I'd have to type it out with my hands. And click Save. Select all. Delete that. Darth Sidious is a character that does not show up in the Mandalorian TV show that is on Disney Plus. Period. Select Mandalorian. Scratch that. Select next two words. Delete that. Select its. Delete that. Select Mandalorian. Move back seven words. Select previous two words. Mandalorian. Select Tuesday Plus. Scratch that. Disney Plus. Go to sleep. So you see how difficult it is to make these corrections even if you put the words in the system and I suppose the more you use the system the more they're going to get this correct. The next thing I want to talk about is homophones and that can be a really a difficult thing to use in dictation so let's take a look. I want you to stand here while I go over there, period. Their books are on the counter, period. There is a hole in my hat. Select heart, hat, period. These are whole numbers, comma, and these are fractions, period. The dew was on the window pane in the morning. Period. Do you know where you're going? Period. Scratch that. Select do. Correct that. Note the correction panel does not give me the correct homophone. Go to sleep. And in this case, what we want is the word D-E-W. And so there are going to be times where the system is not going to give you the appropriate word. And most of the homophones I use there were going to work. And there's lots of them. And so you have to be careful when you're typing them and when you're correcting them. It's kind of difficult to do this on any voice activation system. The issue with typing numbers. The next thing we're going to cover is numbers. And so if you're going to put in a number list, like in the next paragraph here, what you want to do is you want to use these items up here for a bulleted list or a numbered list. 
So if you want to put in a numbered list, you're going to click here. So I'll show you how to do that. Show numbers. 30. Uh, I think this is the first item, period, new line. This is the second item, new line. This is the third item, new paragraph. And I want you to understand that when you usually speak numbers like 1, 2, 3, comma, you're not going to actually get the Arabic numbers. You're going to get the words, period dictating words for commands. The only other little nuance to this is that there are commands that you speak that are two word commands such as new line comma new paragraph comma and so you're going to have to pause a good bit between the two words in order for you not to get the actual command period new paragraph and i hope these tips have helped you to understand even more about how to use the voice control system